rural women in the South Pacific are competent producers, buyers and marketers. They are integral to household and regional food security. My name is Maria Eleni B. I am uh, from Papua New Guinea and I run an organization, a non-government organization called PNG Women in Agriculture. Women do a lot of work in my country. They are more organizers and they are more farmers. I should say farmer is number one. I realized uh, after farming and marketing and all that, there were issues involved in um, the marketing aspect of it, the continuous supply and the consistency and all that. So I saw that issue and then I said, no, I might as well go and get uh, women who are, whom I've already trained to become, we form a group, a cooperative society thing. PNG Women in Agriculture, we've got categories that women are registered to the organization. In that organization, we have uh, Women registered to the group as horticultural groups, floriculture groups, uh, livestock and fisheries groups, apiculture, because that's based on what we have on the land and the women are working on. The value of South Pacific women is becoming better understood and more widely supported. This is apparent through the formation of networks, such as PNG Women in Agriculture and the new network, Pacific Women in Agriculture. I'm Luciane Daufa. I'm from Tonga. I'm with our Ministry of Agriculture back home. Um, I'm in charge of our food division of the Ministry of Agriculture in Tonga. For the last four years, we've been um, trying to organize a successful event, and the outcome that I see today, I'm very pleased. It is the first time for the Pacific countries to engage in this event. And it is a real, real opportunity for the Pacific. I noticed that in this Congress, there are a substantial number of women involved, uh, or delegates from the Pacific, which is something that you may not know that we think that it has to be men. But women, they're flying high. Bringing the Pacific to the Congress, uh, and I'm very pleased to see that. So it brings to mind that we probably think of getting together, start a network and talk to each other and work hand in hand because as we know that we are so many 22 countries in the Pacific and there are so many good things that we have but we need to share and to we'll start working together in a group. So as women, there's one key message we would like to start this networking business among ourselves because it is us women that put the food in onto the table for families and it is women that teach the children what to eat and what not to eat. So that strong message it makes it it's it's a louder voice for us and it keeps ringing in our ears that we should go ahead have this established and start working on this regional issue. Pacific Women in Agriculture officially met for the first time in Brisbane in August 2014 at the International Horticultural Congress. The group is assisted through ACIAR projects.